Robert Esser here at livingpianos.com, your online piano store with a great American-made artist series, Baldwin Baby Grand. The Model M is an extraordinary instrument. I've talked about it before. It holds very special meaning to me because when I was first married, I bought a brand new Model M. It was the best piano I could afford at the time. And I've since moved up to a seven foot Baldwin that I inherited from my father, Morton Estrid, which is an extraordinary instrument. What is so special about these Model M's? Well, there's a lot to love in these pianos. Uh, aside from the fact that they have, are meticulously made with the finest materials and workmanship, or I should say, they used to be made because they are no longer produced. This is an American made piano of the highest order. They are noted for a robust bass for a piano of its size. And if you listen to this piano from 1951, all original, the beautiful set of ivories, listen to just some of the notes in the bass. You can't believe you're listening to just a five foot two piano. Top to bottom, it has no weaknesses. It's a smooth scale design. What do I mean by smooth scale design? Well, you know, there are different registers in a piano. In some places, the strings cross over. You go from single wound, triple strings to double wound strings, uh, pardon me, triple steel strings to the copper wound strings. First uh, doubles and then single strings. And on some pianos, you hear a tremendous change of tone at those register breaks. It's the smoothest silk from top to bottom on the Model M. I'm going to play for you so you can really get a, a feel for what this piano is capable of. I'm going to play a complete Chopin Nocturne, the B flat minor Nocturne. The subtlety of expression that's possible in a beautifully regulated action where nothing is worn is quite remarkable. And it's a gorgeous piece of music for you to enjoy. So here's some Chopin for you.
there's a warmth to the tone, and yet you have a beautiful singing sustain to the tone. So you can create those beautiful melodies. Now, um, since I played a whole Chopin Nocturne for you, I just want to show you briefly the other side of how it opens up. Now, as I mentioned, I practiced on a seven-foot Baldwin, and I've had other seven-foot pianos. And for years, I practiced on a concert grand when I lived in a big loft. So I'm used to playing big pianos. I am going to play just the opening, the preamble of Schumann's Carnival, and I'm going to play it just like I'm playing a nine-foot Baldwin, Steinway, or Mason and Hamlin. I'm not going to hold back at all, like you usually have to on lesser pianos. And listen to the beauty of the tone and how it projects and doesn't reach any limits, which is such a pleasure. So that's in no small part why when I was first, you know, out of uh, music conservatory shopping for a piano, I chose a 5-2 Baldwin Model M because even though I couldn't afford a 7 or 9 foot piano, didn't have the space for it either, um, I knew I could practice and not have to hold back and, and kind of throttle my performance, which prepared me for concerts where I was playing larger pianos. So if you have limited space, but don't want to compromise in sound and range of expression, this is a great piano. Made in 1951, some people would describe this piano as a time traveler because th this is an instrument that you can't believe that it, it, it traveled through all these years in such a ma magnificent condition. And the real ivory keys are a testament to the care with which this piano had all those years. And it's a pleasure to have it for the time that we have it. And any questions you have, once again, robert at livingpianos.com. You can reach me here. And it's a pleasure bringing you these videos. Thanks for joining me today.